Mongolia, nestled in Central Asia's highlands, is celebrated for its friendly people, pristine landscapes and swift horses. The capital, Ulaanbaatar, is home to nearly half of the nation's population. The city boasts remarkable talent, including a young man who cycled 14,000 kilometers to fulfill his dream, a world memory champion, a genius world record holder, medalists from international Olympiads in AI, math, physics and chemistry, two-time Asian 3x3 basketball champions, a world-class dance team and the two-time runner-up teams of Rubicon International Competition. Mongolians are known for their resilience and ability to blend tradition with modernity. From an early age, children in Mongolia play basketball in both cities and the countryside. This passion for basketball will be reflected in the ABU Rubicon 2025 Mongolia International Competition. Rabakan Basketball – Team Effort – Ultimate Success Inspired by the game of basketball, ABU Rabakan 2025 Ulaanbaatar aims to promote the idea of achieving tasks through teamwork. Under the motto, Team Effort – Ultimate Success, robots will compete in basketball as teams. The robot basketball playing area measures 15 meters by 8 meters. The playing area is divided into defensive and offensive sides for each team. The offensive sides includes a three-point and a two-point shooting area. Besides the playing area, there are operating areas for team members to control their robots, spare mechanism zones for the robots, spare parts and ball racks for ball. Backstop units and basketball conform to the specifications of the International Basketball Federation for men's games. However, the height of the basket is set at 2.43 meters. The game will be played between the red and blue teams. Each team will have two robots, which can be controlled manually, automatically or semi-automatically. A robot basketball game begins with a coin toss to determine which team will have first possession. In the setting time period, each team must set up and place their robots within their defensive side. After the game starts, the team in possession can load the ball onto the robot. The offensive team can score points only from the offensive zone. The offensive team can advance to their offensive side through either dribbling or passing to another robot. If the offensive team opts to dribble, the robot must dribble the ball on the offensive before it enters the offensive side. If the offensive team opts to pass, the receiving robot must be in the offensive side. Shooting robot must dribble at least once before a shoot. 3 points for shots made from the 3-point zone. 2 points for shots made from the 2-point zone. 7 points for dunk shot. Teams alternate possession, and each possession limited to a 20-second shot clock. During a game, robots may equip with a spare mechanism to enhance their skills for specialized tasks. The defensive team can use defensive skills to block or steal the ball and can quickly transition to offensive. At the end of the game, the team with the higher score will be declared the winner. Team effort, ultimate success. See you in Mongolia in August 2025. ABU Robocon 2025 Ulaanbaatar, Asian Pacific Robot Contest.